Oh. Uh, you want to turn it a little? <laughs> you going? Right. What up, guys? John Wetmore here in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, they got me coming up with all these dope little series. Do more with Wetmore. My dude, Ronnie named it. He gets all the credit. What's the topic today? Challenges. How to overcome hardships and challenges. Man, I said I could talk for nine days about this one because I think, you know what's funny is like, I think we all have them. So first of all, I, I, I don't think anything I've been through is any harder or anything than any, what anybody else or y'all been through. I think we all have life. Um, I think we all have stuff. And I think, you know, we have to learn how to overcome stuff. And certainly there's been times in my life where I've looked at things and boohooed and thought like people don't understand. And if you ask Stephanie, when we met, that was such a disaster. <laughs> she would have to like smack me around to get out of my own head because I would, and where I was 30 maybe when Steph and I met and um, definitely had no level of success in anything at this point. I made money briefly in the mortgage industry. I think I tripped over some refinance, a refinance period that it was pretty easy to make some money. I haven't gone through bankruptcy and divorce and foreclosure. I actually had two houses foreclosed on and I think two cars taken away. You know, I was pretty weak minded when we met. I was, I was still pretty negative about stuff. Um, and I didn't know how to get over it. I was the type of guy that would just sit on stuff and dwell and that phase, man. And that wasn't the first hardship in my life, but at 30, that's the one that comes to mind right prior to this, doing insurance. I sat and sulked for, I lost the mortgage company in like 08, and I didn't get into insurance until the summer of 2012. So like at the end of 07, beginning of 08 is when the mortgage company I was went away. So like four and a half years, I sat on something and, and let it affect my day to day. And I uh, went back and the regular working world. And, you know, so I think for me, I, time was one thing. Looking back now, I've realized like time heals everything. And I can look back and any of the hardships that I've had or negative stages or even things that are like frustrating today, even if I'm going through something in business that's like, you know, we're doing well, that doesn't make I me mean, probably don't have problems, typically bigger problems. But now I think I've experienced enough things where I can look back on it and go, dang, I made a bigger deal out of that than I should have or than it even was. And I can see the after effects of how long my own thought process, dwelling on things, how, how much extra dragged out that hardship. I think I've been through enough where I finally own like my contribution to the problem and how eventually things always work out and get better and that maybe things happen for a reason. A lot of the hardships that I've been through have been like a catalyst to bigger and better things in life. So now if we go through stuff, Steph and I, and I promise we've been through some stuff. You know, I think we now go through it expecting to come out on the other side, uh, on the other side better than we were before or with an opportunity that we didn't foresee. Um, and, and we know the path that it's taking us on is for a reason and maybe that hardship is to get us ready for something that we wouldn't be able to deal with in the future so i think for me it's you know i think experiencing them is one thing but then learning learning from those lessons and those times in your life that were hard and going how can i next time <laughs> next time i have a problem because there will be plenty how can i approach this differently to not make my own limiting thought process drag us through that you know so for me some of the things i do like been through some business stuff a couple years ago where I was frustrated with some things. I didn't, I didn't really know my place with the changes in business, and you know, just trying to navigate the growth of FL and Agent Force and our office, and you know, just just trying to find the next spot that I that I could contribute the best. And uh, for me, I found honestly, if I keep myself busier, I do better. I tend to like to do hard stuff, things that are mentally challenging so I can get my mind off of the negative stuff. And I even do this with Maddox now. If he's stressing out over stuff, I'm like, dude, let's do something. Let's get out there, let's move, let's think, let's go do something. And like, it was in the December of 20, what year we were in 22, December 2020, so like a year and a half ago, I decided instead of dragging out something I was frustrated with business-wise um, and relationship-wise, that I was gonna do 75 hard. I rolled out of bed day after Christmas, 2020, and this, if y'all don't know 75 hard, you should check it out, but it's like two workouts a day, 
45 minutes each. One has to be outside. They can't be back to back. Um, gallon of water a day. Uh, progress picture every day. You have to read 10 pages of like a nonfiction book. No alcohol. And uh, follow a diet with no cheat meals, no no wavering at all for 75 straight days. And that seemed like kind of impossible to me at the time. Or while I was watching it, I watched some dude do it a couple years prior. But when I went through this phase, I'm like, I got to do something that's challenging, that's hard, that's difficult, that I can focus on in order to sharpen my own mind and my own thought process. I happen to get in really good shape during that stage as well. But for me, it was about not letting myself dwell on something that was causing me unnecessary stress taking that energy that I was putting into a negative spot and putting it into a positive spot and and just occupying that space in my mind. For me, that's that's because I can think, my I, my mind runs or I get, I, it just doesn't turn off a lot. So for me, I, I rolled out of bed. I'm like, I'm gonna do 75 hard when it's cold during the winter, New Year's Eve. Tra traditionally, I would certainly have a drink or two or three <laughs> and hanging out with friends and going to dinners and having holiday parties. We had a vacation somewhere in that 75 days. We had an annual convention for four or five days. Like it was gonna be insanely inconvenient. We went to Nashville where it's like ice and snowed for four or five days. And I still had to go through this process of making sure that no matter what the elements were, I still had to get in my workouts and I still had to run my business and take care of the kids. So I had to start getting up earlier, staying up later planning my day better, scheduling. So for me, it, when I'm going through something, the way I get through it is like, let me be really intentional about doing more and being busier in order to accomplish something so my mind doesn't get stuck and stay in one spot and stay in the mud. Because I've learned, I just, again, previous time going through that stage, I drugged that out four and a half years. So this time, 2020, I'm like, dude, I ain't doing this for four and a half years, you know? After about a couple of weeks, I was like, I've had enough. I'm, I gotta get myself out of this. So I think it's being proactive and doing something about it when you're going, going through something. And just knowing if, you, if you're going through life not expecting hard stuff, you're making a mistake because it's gonna be tough. So it's learning to be resilient and being able to battle through things for me. And you know, for me, I like to do hard stuff. And at those times, I, I, I just tend to, to pick up uh, the activity I do and challenge myself to do more. And that was, I actually did it back to back. I did it twice. I went through it 75 days, got to like March. Stephanie decided she was gonna do it after watching me. So we did it again, like starting early April. And uh, we did it through whatever it was, July or uh, June or July, whatever 75 days is for me. And it was like the, the best 75, well for me, 150 days, 160, cause there was a little gap in the middle. Days I've ever had mentally to get stronger. And then doing it with Stephanie, you got us like super close working out together every day, doing walk. We involved Maddox a lot because he was obviously there. Um, and it was, it turned out to be one of the best years ever. And business took off. It's insane how much we grew and got through things and all the things that I was looking at that were causing me stressors. They ended up, like I said before, being no big deal. Everything worked out for the best. And we look at it now and go, that was necessary for certain, because if I didn't go through that, certain things that have happened now, business-wise would never have happened had I not gone through that. And that's when I've been, like a year ago. I'm already learning what the lesson was for. So I think accept it and, and, and find, accept it and find a way to get your mind off of things and, you know, put your, put your time, energy and effort towards something big, a goal and, and just plow through it. Hope it helps.